The boost preview graph is a turbine has two tasks. There are two fundamentally different aspiration types. Naturally aspirated engines are basic four-stroke engines where the engine sucks in air purely through atmospheric pressure and the suction of the piston traveling down the cylinder. Forced induction refers to any method used to force air into an engine at greater than atmospheric pressure. This allows the cylinders to fill with more air than they can inhale through suction alone, effectively increasing the capacity of the engine. Using forced induction, an engine can achieve much higher power outputs without needing a bulky, less fuel-efficient, large-capacity engine. Neither does it have the poor low RPM performance and reliability problems of a highly tuned, naturally aspirated motor. There are two variants of forced induction, both comprising a pump to force air into the engine, but using different methods to drive the pump. Supercharging is the oldest and simplest method of forced induction. It consists of an air pump that is driven by the engine via a belt. As a supercharger is directly driven by the engine, it responds instantly to changes in engine speed and makes for a responsive and torquey engine with appreciably more power. However, a supercharger also requires a significant portion of the engine's power to operate. Therefore, both fuel economy and maximum power output are relatively poor compared to turbochargers. A turbocharger makes use of the energy in the engine's exhaust gases to spin up a freewheeling turbine. The turbine drives a compressor wheel, which is then used to force air into the engine. Because a turbo makes use of the energy contained in the exhaust to drive itself, it wastes very little engine power and has the potential to create a very powerful engine. As the turbine is not directly connected to the engine, and relies on the flow of exhaust gas, it doesn't always respond instantly to changes in throttle and tends to operate poorly at low RPM, particularly in powerful engines when a very large turbocharger is used.